Hi guys and welcome to What If Tutorials. Uh, hold on a second. So, <laughs> sorry about that guys, I forgot to turn that sound effect off. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to trigger animations that were made in Blender. So, let's do this. What If Tutorials. So, I've got my Stewie Griffin model over here and um, I've imported it from Blender. Let me just show you how I did it. Over here I've got my Stewie Griffin Blender model which was actually made in 3ds Max. I just imported it into Blender. I think Blender is just a bit... Uh, it just works for me much better. It's so lightweight and I love it. So over here on the left I've opened up my dope sheet as you can see over here. This is a dope sheet and over here this this should have been or by default this was dope sheet and I've set it now to um, action editor which will enable you to make more animations like you can see over here and every time you make a new animation you just uh, click the plus sign and then you click F always click the F I don't know what the F does it's just it's, it's better to click the F Okay, so here I've got my animations. Uh, Stewie is shaking his head and his body. And in Unity, it's very easy to import uh, a 3D model to, to Unity. Basically, all you do is you drag it into your assets folder. In the, in the old days with Unity, you actually had to export an FBX, which is stupid, actually, because nowadays you can just drag in your Blender project which is this right over here and there I've got all my animations and my mesh and everything so first of all I want you to look at this on the right after you've selected the model in the assets folder you should go on to rig the second one rig and this animation type should be legacy not generic legacy otherwise it's not going to work perfectly and then on the right animations you will see all your animations listed over here so let's say for instance you want something to um, loop over here is my idle animation you can just click loop and then apply every time you do something here you should apply it then on the left in the hierarchy this is now my model basically uh, well it's my game object that I've added in the scene you would see here on the right of um, there is an animation component which was actually added by default if you drag in a blender model and here are all the animations if the animations are not listed that you've actually made just um, just increment this let's say you make this six and then you can just add another animation over there so you can go here on the right to trigger the animations and add a new script I'm just gonna call it Seth McFarlane please don't sue me for using Stewie as my puppet I'm just joking obviously um, you can just call it Stewie and it's a C sharp script create and add so I'm gonna open this up in mono develop okay so first of all I'm just gonna just to do the the input triggers I'm gonna say if input dot get key down and then when you press key code dot keypad zero so on your numpad if you press zero then this function or this um, statement is gonna execute animation dot play and I'm just gonna say idle so when you press 0 then idle is gonna execute so let me just quickly um, add the rest of it over here when you press 1 then dance 1 is gonna happen when you press 2 then dance 2 is gonna happen when you press 3 then shake head is gonna happen let's see what happens so when I press 1 then it does that, when I press 2 it does that, when I press 3 it does that and when I press 0 again 
they are not idols. Now, I would just like to say that this is very jittery. Like, look at 1 and 2. It switches very quickly. So in the next tutorial, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to crossfade these animations in between each other. Oh, and by the way, before you go, um, I'm actually going to put this online. I'm going to make it a bit better and then I'm going to make it online. There should be a link here somewhere eventually if I decide to put this online. And then you can actually play the game. Well, it's not a game. It's just, you know, if you want to see Stewie Griffin dance, then then you might like it. All right. So thank you guys for watching. And if you've got time, please like us on Facebook and give us some comments. Uh, um, especially give us a comment on our game, Sam by What If Studios. Um, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day. What If Tutorials.